a key message to begin with is that you mustn't forget, we mustn't forget as parents that we have far more influence over our children than any school ever will. We can do far more and we control far more about their foundation as learners and as people and as citizens than the choice of school. And we mustn't forget that. So where does it start? What do we need to be doing? Well, here we go. If you want your child to get ahead in life, to develop their own ideas and benefit from the collective knowledge of centuries, then there is one unbreakable rule. You must help them become readers. And not simply people who can read, but people for whom reading is as much part of their lives as breathing. The quality of their lives depends on it. Developing the habit of reading is not only to open up for them whole new worlds of inquiry, joy, interest, love, culture, and empathy, but also to create thinkers who will be able to draw on more experience than their relatively short, bounded lives will give them. No matter how intelligent a child might be, and uh, let's be honest, you can blame some of that on genetics, I think it was Steven Pinker who said the best thing a child can do is choose their parents wisely. Yeah. Um, your children are never going to get to the point of coding the next artificial intelligence or designing a new statewide system for collecting recycle, uh, recyclables from first principles. We all have to stand on the shoulders of the giants who got us to where we are today, and they've usually written things down. The very act of reading is also something that our children need to engage in so as to develop competencies and attributes that will help them in school, work, and life. The practice of sitting still and traveling somewhere in your head, the act of turning the written word into something that can consume you or persuade others and grow an idea into a movement. So that's, that's what reading does, I think. And of course, this is never going to happen if you yourself don't read or are not seen reading by your child. This is called modeling, and children are remarkable at learning through modeling. They learn your best and your worst behaviors, which you should try to recognize as feedback rather than something to get cross about. Don't they just do that? They spot everything that we do. And when they get to that age where challenge becomes important to them, they'll call us out on our behaviors.